hello welcome to indus technologies with one more interesting video in which we are going to design this boat which is moving inside the sea and we are going to design this animation with the help of html and css only okay so coming to the coding portion i will uh, first of all i will show you what to do first i have created uh, this uh, folder whose name is boat and inside this folder i have created images folder and these are few images that are you that i have used in my project and these images will be also available to you you can get these images uh, in the link which is given in the description below now coming to the point in this boat uh, images will be available to you also and there is index and style index.html and style.css these are two files that i have created and i will open these two files with the help of visual studio code editor this is index.html first i will write uh, necessary tags over here so in this index.html uh, here is do here i will keep the title as a n i m a t e d animated boat okay this is a title and i will link this style.css here so here i will write style.css and here i will create a container class div dot container i will go to the styles.css i will uh, write some reset rules reset rules means for everything what will i do i will first margin set margin to zero and padding zero now i will uh, style my container class container i will write width 100 percent height 100 vh viewport height whatever will be the height of my screen that will be height of this container okay and position position relative okay because this could be this will be my this will be the parent class of further do further classes those child classes that i will create will maintain their position according to this uh, container class so it should be relative and position relative this means that whenever this container class will be the parent of further classes the child classes will position themselves according to this container class okay according to their parent class so this should be relative and uh, child class will be absolute so first i will insert an image into this class with the help of css i will insert an image so i will write here background dash image okay background dash image i will write url and here i will write image background.jpg but this image will not will not be completely visible only a portion of this image will be visible to us if i will refresh this page here we go boat index you can see only a part of this image so for, for this thing to avoid i have to write background dash size cover background dash position center now this will look proper and i will write here overflow is to hidden maybe some part of this image might be in overflow and that portion will be hidden now i will uh, insert a water into this so for that i will write div dot c here i will insert img src is to image then water and i will give it a class water refresh this this is water and this water should be from the bottom side okay it should not be from the top side so i will give styling to this water okay first i will write dot c height is to 230 pixels position absolute bottom zero then with 100 percent We have to insert clouds above c so i will insert here img tag directly and source will be images and cloud.png and it is class i will mention cloud class cloud okay similarly similarly inside c i will insert a boat but for but before that i will uh, first refresh this page and i will see the clouds are not in a proper position now i will insert a boat inside this c so i will write here img src no sorry i will write here div dot boat div dot boat and inside i will write img src will be images boat dot png save i have to 
I have to position this board now. I have to write a CSS for this board portion. So for that, I will write a dot water. Dot water. Water should be of height. Height hundred percent. It should take the parent. What is the parent? Parent of water is this C. So it should get hundred percent height of the C and position absolute right zero. right zero now i will save this refresh this now i will come to boat portion okay so dot boat boat should be of width 370 pixels it should be in absolute position and its bottom should be 200 pixels above now you can see the boat it is looking quite bigger so i will make it correct for that i will write left 50 percent okay here i will write transform transform translate x minus 50 percent i will write dot boat img so i will write width 100 percent i will save it first refresh you can see the boat is in, in the center of the page i have written here this transform translate what does this line indicate this line will do one thing it will move the boat it will move the boat uh, this due in in the center of the page this minus 50 percent it means that it will bring it into the center so boat in img it is width is 100 percent according to this it will take width of 370 pixels i want the reflection of this boat into this water and that reflection should be from the zeroth position of this boat so that will start exactly from here zeroth position so here i will write webkit dash reflection web webkit dash box dash reflect okay here i will write below zero linear linear dash gradient linear dash gradient rgba 255 comma 255 comma 255 comma 0.1 i will copy this first i will save this refresh this now i will paste it here again after comma i will write this again and here i will write 0.1 instead of i will write instead of the 0.1 i will write 0.6 save refresh you can see okay it is like look, looking quite good another task is that i have to add an animation to this okay for that first i will before applying animation to all this I will give cloud is a better shape before applying uh, the animation to all this i will shape cloud write some styling to cloud so that the cloud should look good okay so for that i will write dot cloud dot cloud this is our cloud okay cloud class what is the code that i have to write in the cloud class cloud basically it should be of height 250 pixels and position absolute okay right zero you can see the clouds are looking better now now uh, i will apply animation to all this first i will apply animation to clouds okay so i will write here animation okay in the cloud section i will write animation name and it is name i will mention clouds C L O U D S Cloudus. It should be of 10 seconds. No, I will write 8 seconds. 8 seconds linear infinite. Okay, infinite it should run. Okay. Now I will write it is keyframes. Okay. So I will write here add the rate of keyframes and animation name is Cloudus. I have written this animation name here clouds okay and i will apply animation to it at the zero percent it should be transform translate 
translate but translate x axis okay it should be zero that time okay from x axis and when our animation is at 100 percent of its arrival it should be transform is to translate i will copy this and paste it here here it should be 500 pixels of moment there okay i will save this and i will refresh it now you will see cloud is moving you can see the clouds are moving similarly i will try to move this water and boat also okay so for that i will apply the respective keyframes to the respective elements first i will apply keyframes to the boat okay so this is our boat portion here i will apply keyframes okay boat dot image boat image okay here i will write animation animation is to transform sorry animation is to animation name should be boat you can write any name boat it should be of two seconds linear okay linear and it should run infinitely and here i will write add the rate of keyframes boat here zero percent transform rotate it should rotate zero degrees at zero uh, at zero percent it should rotate zero degrees now i will copy this paste it here at 25 percent it should rotate minus 7 degrees at 50 percent it should again be zero at 70 percent 75 percent it should be again it should be positive 7 degrees okay and at 100 percent it should be zero degrees again now i will save all this I refresh it here you can see the movement of the boat okay now i have to move this water also for that i have to apply the um, this uh, animation to this water also okay coming to the water portion this is my water portion i will apply here animation 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 name should be water and it should be for 10 seconds linear infinite add the rate of keyframes water zero percent add zero percent transform is to translate translate x axis to zero and at hundred percent it should be thousand pixels refresh this now we are done with our project you can see clouds are also moving and boat also moving uh, it is looking quite good thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe so that you will receive future videos whichever i will post in this youtube channel okay thanks